Now setting up the six position switch to give us six modes on channel eight in RJ Pilot. Uh, a viewer, Igor Babenko, reminded me that you really just need to reduce the S3 weight down to 60 and then the gaps line up with the RG Pilot mode divisions. This is what we've done, channel 8, uh, we've chosen S3, the uh, six position switch, and reduce the weight to 60. That's all you have to do to that. Or if we want to use the combination of the SC and the SD switch, we select the SC switch for channel 8, reduce the weight to 31, change the offset to 40, or minus 45. That takes care of the bottom half of the switch. Now copy another line, edit that line, SC switch again, change the offset to plus 45. And we add the SD switch in the down position and change multiplex to replace. So now if we look at channel eight there, we have three positions, SD switch down and we have the other three positions. So you can see uh, at the moment we have it SC and SD up is flight mode 6, flight mode 5, flight mode 4, flick the other switch, flight mode 1, flight mode 2 and flight mode 3. Now it's probably a good idea to have manual in the all up or the all down position so if you get in trouble you can just go bang and put both switches up, have it go into manual or both switches down and it'll go into return to home. They're sort of safety situations and you can arrange the others as you wish. Okay, it's time to fly. Uh, we're uh, acquired enough satellites, so everything's going to work properly, hopefully. Going to fly around a little bit, try manual uh, fly by wire A. Uh, might do an auto tune and the other modes as well. Holding the rudder right. Okay, just fly around a little bit in manual, it's going okay. Fly by wire A, all nice and stabilised. Have uh, not much pitch authority, fair bit of roll authority. Cruise mode, should hold out at altitude and just fly out that way. Turn to launch, should come back to me at about 70 metres, it looks like that's working okay. And acro mode. Acro mode feels pretty good, alright. Try some auto tuning. Okay, so now we do rolls backwards and forwards. Getting roll figures. Roll finished. Pitch now. Very sluggish in pitch. Picking up a bit now. Just keep 
doing pitch up and pitch down until it tells me it's finished. Might have already told me. Pitch finished, all right. Let's do some flying. Beautiful day, not much wind, and it's feeling pretty good. I think I might like acro better though. Look at that, acro is locked in. Yeah, nice. So there we are, ready to fly around. 32% throttle, 4.5 amps. Very nice. I'll bring it into land now and um, uh, it's probably enough flying. Get down. Wanted to glide on. So that was cool. That went well. So there we go. Argy pilot. Uh, not as difficult as I thought in the end. Uh, with a bit of study, just have to read the Argy pilot documentation. It's pretty good, really. Uh, but you, you just need to stick with it and, and experiment with some things and work out what they're talking about. Once you learn what you have to know and you don't have to know, and uh, just setting it up as a basic FPV plane without mission planner, and without a, a ground station and all of that sort of stuff, compass and airspeed sensor, it just uh, works like I have, really. Um, good stuff. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.